In this course, we model as best we can at this level the process by which physics is uh, developed. Now, physics is developed by doing uh, several things, and these things have an interplay with one another. Uh, physics is an experimental science. Uh, we come up with ideas about how the world works, and then we devise experiments to test those ideas. And if those ideas work, then they become theories. And as we gain more and more knowledge, those theories are often replaced with more precise theories or even supplanted with completely different theories. To learn physics, you need to learn to solve problems. You need to learn how to attack problems. Um, you need to learn how to break problems down. You need to learn general problem-solving techniques. You need to learn how to understand what's going on and apply that understanding to problems. You need to use experiments to convince yourself of your understanding, um, to give you something to relate to as you attempt to understand some of the more difficult concepts in the course, because not the concepts can be quite difficult. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, uh, there's a lot of mathematics involved in physics. Uh, the language of physics is mathematics. Now, the mathematics in physics is at different levels in different courses. I'm talking to people in three different courses, uh, Physics 201, Physics 121, and Physics 241. And since I'm on the subject, let me just talk a little bit about the mathematical demands of the course. Now, hopefully you'll be able to read this. Uh, mathematical demands in Physics 201 are not too high. You should know how to do some simple algebra, and I should have mentioned you should have some simple uh, geometry under your belt. Just some basic concepts of geometry, like the area of a circle and the area of a rectangle, and uh, some properties of circles and so forth. And you should have some pretty good number sense. You should be able to, or at least you should be able to develop good number sense as we go through the course. Uh, physics 201 requires quite a bit more mathematics than Physics 121. You should have moderately good algebra skills up to the level of Algebra 2. Uh, you should also understand uh, the characteristics of graphs as taught in an analysis or pre-calculus course and characteristics of functions as taught in such a course. You should have uh, some idea of these, idea, th these things because we will use these uh, concepts and these techniques. Mostly a moderate amount of algebra and you should have a fairly good mathematical sophistication of the type that you gain in the prerequisite or co-requisite courses which are essentially pre-calculus 1 and pre-calculus 2. In Physics 241 this is a calculus based course. Now, you should certainly understand simple integrals and derivatives. Uh, you should have the concepts of diff, uh, derivatives and rates. You should be able to take simple derivatives and know what they mean and know how derivatives are related to rates. Or at least you should have the background that allows you to learn that as we go through the course. And let me mention that physics is a great place to really hone your mathematical skills. I took physics and calculus together. It was a rewarding experience for both courses. They reinforce each other. Same with physics 201 and pre-calculus. Uh, it's even better if you have the mathematics first, although that makes it harder to learn the mathematics in the first place. Also in Physics 241, you should have the concept of integrals and summation, uh, as in Riemann sums, and you should know what integrals mean and know how to interpret them. Now let's look a little bit at the structure of the course. Let's see if I can hold this at the correct angle. Uh, this is a little bit clumsy because I'm trying to focus on this thing. Uh, well, let's not worry about that. Anyhow, we have experiments. We have reasoning. We have analysis. We have conceptualization. Let's talk about what those mean and how they relate to the course. In the course, you will have labs. Okay, let's I don't mean Labrador Retrievers. I was talking about labs a minute ago, wasn't I? Okay, let's set this down here. I think this might work better. Unfortunately, uh, there's no technical assistance involved here. I've got to do all this myself. And it's a little bit cumbersome. Okay, 
Now hopefully you can read this and hopefully I've got the glare under control. Uh, we have labs. There's a set of labs, uh, almost 40 labs, or 30 labs in the course, uh, almost a lab for every day. We have problems. There are introductory problem sets, as you'll find in the home page if you haven't already. Okay, so these are the two core things in the course, along with uh, the text for 241 and 242. Uh, the text for the Physics 121 course is really just the lecture notes, which are posted. Uh, and, and, and these things comprise the guts of the course, and we do a lot of analysis around these things. And we'll talk about that in a little more detail in the next clip.